One of my daughters has made it into the National Olympiad or competition, finals, in one of her school subjects. This is a big deal, but it requires her to compete in the finals in Moscow. Now, I said that I would take her as I'm retired and have the free time, so here comes our train. Okay, we're already in our train into the, well, what you call a coupe. It's a compartment. We have a four-person compartment. You can see two upper bunks, two lower bunks, a little table. And the great news is that even though it's a four-person compartment, it's just my daughter and I all the way to Moscow. So it's like a first-class ticket instead of second class. So it's wonderful. But the... All these are beds. They fold down. They give you uh, some sheets and everything. It's comfortable, actually. I think it is. Oh. I don't know what else I can show you. They have all kinds of little storage compartments and little places to put things. Places to put luggage up top. Hang clothes. Again. And underneath the... Uh, Underneath these seats is a large storage area, also big enough to fit a, a large suitcase or so. So anyhow, it's it's not big. It's rather small. It's about the size of a uh, probably a typical Tokyo apartment. Our train arrived in Moscow at about 7 a.m. And since it's the end of the line for our train, it's just an endless sea of people getting off. Get a look here. After our arrival in Moscow, we went and ate breakfast. Uh, then we made our way to the university where my daughter's Olympiad was being held. My daughters don't appear in my videos, so these parts weren't, I didn't capture them on video. By taxi, at this hour of the day, the ride would take about an hour. So we went by metro, uh, and even though we needed to switch lines at one point, we still made it to the university in about 45 minutes. Plus, uh, it, as many of you know, and if not, uh, some of these, especially the main stations of the Moscow Metro are beautiful. They're like, uh, they're like works of art. They're just wonderful. When I had made sure that my daughter was all registered and everything was ready to go, I left. I had about five hours uh, to kill and no concrete plans on how to do this. So why don't you come along with me now and uh, as I, uh, I add to live my way around Moscow, come on. Today I'm gonna go into a big old 
fancy department store called Zoom. Um, it's right alongside Red Square. It's oh, you can see it through this arch. But on the way there, this is I mean middle of the day and these ornaments or whatever they are, they're all lit up nicely. I mean that's pretty powerful to see them that bright in the middle of the day. I'm not sure what this building is. I feel kind of stupid. It's one of the many theaters here. I don't think it's the Bolshoi Theater, but uh, hey, what do I know? Again, that's Zoom. Zoom in on it. It's Russian. Tsaum. Another theater. It's very pretty here. Right in the center of Moscow, you know, and the buildings are pretty ornate, still kind of lit up. In general, just very nice. Well, here I am. I was actually right. It is the Bolshoi Theater. I'll have this all spelt out for you. But this is the Bolshoi Theater that I was looking at. I guessed it might be, but doubted myself. Shouldn't doubt myself. Pretty, pretty expensive looking place. All the top line cosmetics and perfumes and everything else. I guess any shopping center with a doorman would be so. After just a few minutes of walking through Tsum, I understood that I was in the wrong place. Where I really wanted to walk around was, was a place called Goom, which means like the main department store. Remember, these, these terms were from uh, Soviet times. Now, Goom is a, a beautiful, several story high shopping mall, very rich and ornate looking. Uh, well, here's a couple of photos here, like, like this one. Here's another photo. Some outside photos. Here's a beautiful outside one where it's all lit up. Well, that was a big mistake, directly attributable to lack of proper planning on my part. In the future, I'll take you to see Goom. I just can't do it today because of time. Sorry. Well, we do have some time. So let's spend that just walking around this immediate vicinity, which is like a pedestrian walkway for shopping. So for now, let's do that. Come on. Okay, this is just outside of Tsum. All kinds of, it's just again, nice pretty buildings and nice architecture. Expensive shops, I mean, Cartier. See over there. Now let me zoom in. Cartier. Yeah, Tommy Hilfinger. They have different, all kinds of different things here. Longines. See, kind of a famous road here. 
that's famous for shopping or what, but who's next to most is who's next to bridge. Okay, we're on like another pedestrian walkway. Yeah, just ignore that tractor. It's kind of a cool looking restaurant here. A Bolshoi restaurant. Uh, for any of you that can't read Russian when you're in Russia and you're hungry, look for this right here. It means restaurant. So if you see something that looks like Pestapa. Pestapa, just remember that. Pestapa means go eat. Now, I'm sorry if this looks like a ill-prepared, ill-researched uh, little video I'm making. It, it, it is. My daughter is in Moscow for a, a, a scholastic competition, something they call here an Olympiad. And I brought her here and while she's in her Olympiad, which is about four and a half, five hours, I'm, uh, well, I've got time to kill. I'm just wandering around. And I don't know exactly where I'm wandering, but you're wandering with me, I guess. I'm going to try a little different stabilization. Here I'm trying a little different type of stabilization called active stabilization. We'll see if it does a nicer job keeping things from bouncing around quite as much. Again, we're still on that uh, little shopping type street. sort of Grada Boutique Hotel. Quite expensive, I'm sure. There's a restaurant called Ketchup. Yeah, get it? Get it? Ketchup? Yeah. 